What's up guys, today we're going to be looking at Dante's Inferno. Sorry about that, started the video a little too early. Today we're going to be looking at Dante's Inferno running on a Razer Edge Pro through the Xbox 360 emulator Xenia. Now as you can see, I started it a little early because there was a crazy movie clip that's very long that you can't skip. I just want to show you guys it is running on Xenia. Uh, the uh, October 9th version of it. So this is not even the re most recent version as you can see today is the October 11th. Um, almost 2 a.m. so this is going to be my last video. But um, no special settings or anything. Just download the emulator, have the game, load it up, and you shouldn't have any issues at all running it. Okay? So I'm running it right now and uh, just got the gameplay finally past the movie clip. And as you can see, I didn't have to do anything extra. And it's running at full speed in 30 frames per second. Um, not 60 frames per second, unfortunately, but it's 30. So I have plenty of time here to show you guys gameplay. So we're going to see if we can make it to death. Because that's the only thing I remember about this game is that you fight death at the beginning. Never got far in it. Apparently you gotta fight all these terrorists as well. Terrorists getting shot by arrows and uh... Um... Why are they running into me? I don't know the story behind it, but it's a little strange. They're all attacking me. I am but a mere human. I am no demon. How dare you? Infinitely, is this like an infinite respawn thing? I played this a long time ago. Um, so I don't even remember any of this stuff. Oh, by the way, this game does not run on a PS3 emulator. Not for me, anyway. I tried this game, and... It's so damn slow, it's not playable. I deleted it, actually. Because I have it on Xbox 360 now. So it's one of the perks of having multiple system emulators because if it don't play on PS3 emulator and it plays on Xbox 360 emulator, then better off keeping it on Xbox 360 emulator. I'm hoping to get Ninja Gaiden to run like this. Oh wow. What a bastard. I'm sure it's not the first time he ever got stabbed in the back. Let me hit the light so you guys can see it clearer. He's pretty confident about his ability, you know, to fight death. How about you are mine? Oh, shit. You angry ass bastard. Um, who woke up this morning and said, I'm going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that? Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh. Death is teleporting. Some cheating ass shit. Sir, I'm gonna need you to not do this anymore. Why your reach game so strong? Um. Um. What is this bastard shit you're doing? Stop this. Let's evade attacks. Um, how are you supposed to evade that? Man is floating. The man is floating. That's that's a cheat code. You tap X, X, Y, square, up, up, down, left, right, left, right. Cheat code as fast. Um, 
I'm pressing R1. I am pressing R1. Why are they lying to me? Alright, well, I'm just gonna fight them. Um, it's telling me press R1. I'm pressing R1. This is, uh, weird. Oh, I mean, RT. RT. Oh, this is awkward. Anyway, as you guys can see, it is running pretty good. You can actually enjoy it. But R1 issue is probably not the emulator. I think it's my controller, because my controller will be bugging out sometimes. Ever since I upgraded to Windows 10, uh, controller sometimes R2, RT doesn't work until I reinstall the driver again. and just happened to be one of those things. And I don't feel like doing the whole video over again, so I'm just going to let this be. But thanks for watching, guys. If you guys got any other suggestions, any other PS4, I mean, I'm sorry, PS3 games or Xbox 360 games to try out, definitely let me know. And I uh, hate to sound like a broken record, but do subscribe. Uh, it really does help uh, if you haven't subscribed already. Um, hit me up with some requests, and I will see you guys next time.